Hello, this is G Fantastic. Today we're going to do our our first our first colorful chemistry. It's magic liquid. Ooh. These are the ingredients and these are the tools. So let's check out our ingredients. Here's thymol blue. Mm -hmm. Here's thymol blue. Here's sodium carbonate. Here's sodium hydros hydroxin. Hydrogen sulfate. Hydrogen. And here's citric acid. Whoa. And last of all, this is sodium hydrogen carbonate. Baking soda. Which is baking soda. Which is for cooking. How about the tools? You want to introduce the tools? Yeah. We're not using the petri dish today. We're using we're using the spoon. Five cups, a paper clip, which we always need to use, <laughs> water, which is also an ingredient, and this beaker. All oh, right, so beaker. <sighs> Should we start it? Let's do it. It's difficulty one, danger one, and it takes ten. <laughs> ten minutes? Mm -hmm. All right. So, number one. First, prepare the pH indicator thymol blue solution. Mm -hmm. So, we need to put thymol blue, one biggie spoon. One biggie spoon? Into this. That was actually next, but okay. Oh, the thymol blue goes in first? Okay. That's fine. My mistake. I shouldn't put all of it. Well, this is powder, but why do we need to use the paper clip? I don't think it is powder. If we need to use a paper clip, it's liquid. If we don't need the oh, paper clip, it is liquid. It's a uh, powder. Put it. It looks like it. It looks like it was liquid. No problem. So where's that spoon? Pour it very carefully over the tray. One big spoon. A little bit more. That looks like black paint just splashed in there. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little bit like ink. All right. Now All right. Let's ink. Pour our water. Ooh. Whoa. Is it blue? No, it's orange. What color is that? Huh. Now we don't need thymol blue. So, I want this orange. Number two, now prepare samples of substances that might affect the solution pH in different ways. So we need NaHSO4, citric acid, and Na2CO3, NaHCO3. I need to do this one first. Baking soda is a solid, so you will not need the paper clip for baking soda. Or maybe, maybe we need the paper clip. Ugh. That was really hard. Mm -hmm. I nice. don't think it got pushed down. There we go. Nice, perfect. Five drops. So that one's first? Yeah. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five. 
This is colorful chemistry, so what color is this stuff? That's white. That's clear. Yeah, it's just clear. Interesting. I don't know if it's going to change any color at all. Next so one is citric, citric acid. acid. And the third cup is also citric acid mixed it, with something else. Na2CO3, which is sodium carbonate. Oopsies. You want to go over our four rules of lab safety? Yes. What's rule number one? Rule number one, yeah. don't put food or drinks on the table. Rule right. number two, mm -hmm. mm, you, you shouldn't do the experiment alone. Rule number three, don't, don't rush and do safety mm -hmm. and careful. And rule number four, clean up your lab table after the science experiment. That's one, two, three, four, and five. This is also clear. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Tiny drops. Cool. I don't I think like the, how they bind together. I don't think the clear ones will change any color. But if they do, it'll be science. <laughs> because it's magic. No, science is not magic. Science no. is science. No, I I mean it's magic, magic cups or magic, magic liquid over here. Magic, magic liquid, liquid, right? I was trying to say that, not magic science. <laughs> Wait, back here is how all this works. No, what is like... solution pH and how different substances affect the pH? Oh. So we can read about how it's not magic uh -oh. after. Uh -oh. Try again. Good job. So that one goes here first. Whoa. Ooh, already something's happening. Four, five. And the fifth cup. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, oh, oh. That's like a huge water thing. So now when it Yeah, it looks like the fizzy drinks like Pepsi and Coca-Cola. All right, now we need a small spoon of baking soda, is that right? Yep. And that one should not need the paper clip. And it doesn't. See? Mhm. Mm Use the small spoon. We're going to pour it carefully into the small spoon. The baking soda is safe, so even if we spill a little bit, it's not a problem. Now put it in there. Yeah. All right, are we ready to do step three? Add the pH indicator solution to each of these samples. So I need to a little pour bit that in, each in there, one. in there, in there, in there, and what? I'm Let's see if we get the colors. Let's do it. Ooh. This is red. Awesome. This is orange. This is yellow. Hmm. It's not changing green. Oh, it's a little bit. It's green. It's dark. It's dark green. And last of all, here is blue. Whoa, that's a really good color. Uh, where should we put more? Over here. Whoa, ho, ho. whoa. So, this is like super magic. Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. So, did you like this experiment? I loved it. How about you? I sure did too. Mm, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And we're... Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.